unveiling the foundation of every great destiny in the kingdom. Get seated, please. Welcome to Apostle TV. The message you're about to watch will definitely transform your life. Be blessed as you watch. For if the foundation be destroyed, the righteous can do nothing. Psalm 11 and verse 3. The reason for the shakings, rattlings in many lives is that the foundation is faulty. The foundation needs attention. A building without a sure foundation is a risk. It's always abandoned. Spirituality is the foundation of every great destiny in the kingdom. <laughs> For that foundation can no man lay than that which is laid, which is Christ Jesus. 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 11. For the foundation of God stands sure, sure, having this seal. Second Timothy 2 verse 19. The Lord made another that his, and let everyone that name it in the name of Christ depart from iniquity. That is the sure foundation of God for every believer. Depart from iniquity. Departure from iniquity is the definition of a sure foundation every great destiny in the kingdom. No believer can be any more fulfilled in life than is spiritual. First Timothy 4 8. But exercise thyself rather unto godliness, for bodily exercise profits little, but godly exercise profitable unto all things, having the promise of the life which now is and the one which is to come. No believer can be any more fulfilled in life than his spiritual. No believer can be any more fulfilled in life than his spiritual. No believer can be any more fulfilled in life than his spiritual. That's why it says to be spiritually minded is life and peace, and to be carnally minded is death. Romans 8.6 That's why the word says I wish above all things Third John verse 2 That thou mayest prosper and be in health Even as thy soul prospereth Or to the level of the prosperity of your spiritual life This is what we have failed to check We are checking other things It is the only spiritual virtue that holds value both in the present world and in the world hereafter. Having the promise of the life which now is and the one which is to come. No other virtue in the kingdom holds those dual value but spirituality, godliness, the fear of God. Living a life to please God. A crave to be godly. Praise God. <laughs> All breakthroughs will stop here. All prophetic words will stop here. All miracles will stop here. Only goodness gets across there. 
Every other thing stops here. Having children stops here. Blessing children stops here. <laughs> Building known stops here. The only thing that goes out there is the quality of your work with God. An undying quest to please God. It decorates your life here and secures eternity there. What else are you looking for? <laughs> it decorates destinies here and secures eternity in grand styles. What else are you looking for? No one can command the supernatural than he is spiritual. We saw Gehazi, the prophet who roared, the one that will work any wonder, didn't work in his hand. We saw that in 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 29 to 37. And we saw the reason why his eyes was off God. He was a lover of this present world. <laughs> Whosoever loves this world, the word of the Father is not in him. It's not in him. When Elijah said, Naaman should go with all his gifts, <laughs> Gazi said, Never. How can he spare this man? When I'm going to get the kind of thing again, he pursued after him and collected his leprosy on return. No one can flourish in hard times than his spiritual. Psalm 37, verse 18 to 19. The Lord knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in evil time. In the evil time, and the time of famine, they shall be satisfied. <laughs> no one can flourish a hard times than his spiritual. No one can exercise spiritual authority than his spiritual. Acts 19, 14 and 15. Jesus, we know, oh, we know, but who are you? Spiritual authority demands spirituality for release, for manifestation. So everything that holds value in the kingdom demand spirituality for manifestation. The more spiritual we are, the healthier we live. Go and say no more. Let's say what thing that this happened to you. That's Jesus speaking. John 5, 14. No one can flow in revelation than the spiritual. Because the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God, <laughs> neither can he know them. 1 Corinthians 2 14, because they are spiritually designed. And my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So he can't know them. Why? The secret of God is only accessible to them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. So the man is shut out, he's in blackout. That you are in church does not mean you are spiritual. That you are, have a calling is not equal to spirituality. It's a conscious personal choice. It's not a gift, it's not a calling, it's not an endowment. It's a conscious personal choice that people make. You heard Paul said, exercise myself to always have a conscience that's void of offense both towards God and towards men. Acts 24 verse 16. He 
You heard Abraham say it. I'll never take a threat from you. Let's see you make it Ram read. You heard Joseph say it. How can I do this thing and sin against God? So it's a personal, conscious, personal choice that each one makes. May we get into 2024 with this personal, conscious choice Amen. to live a godly life. Amen. The losses are horrendous. The losses are nothing to toy with. Because a man that wanders away from the path of understanding, he shall abide in the congregation of the dead. So there are believers that are as good as dead. There is no illumination to push darkness away. It's time to review our spiritual stance to maximize God's good will for his children in this time of uncertainties. It's your turn. Yeah. It's your turn. Yeah. It's your turn. Yeah. No one can be any more protected in this high insecurity time than the spiritual. Psalm 91 verse 1. He that dwell in the place of the most high shall abide under what? The shadows of the Almighty. <laughs> I will say of the Lord is my refuge, my fortress, and my God in him I will trust. Who shall ascend to the mountain of the Lord? He that has a clean hands and a pure heart. So you can't dwell in that presence without godliness, without spirituality. And that is our strong tower. Our strong tower is being under the shadow of the Almighty. Our strong tower. So one is vulnerable. Without spirituality. Everything seems to be against the believer. Who okay, care the least for spirituality? No one can live any more honorable life in the kingdom than is spiritual. In the greater there are many houses, there are many vessels. Some to honor, some to dishonor. If any man purchase his for four days, it shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, made for the master's use, prepared unto every good work. <laughs> so, no destiny can be any more honorable in the kingdom than the spiritual. Than the spiritual. These are all covenant demands. And my covenant will I not break. No other those that have gone forth out of my lips. No one's still worship can be any more profitable than the spiritual. Lord, we, we've done many marvelous works in your name. Get thee off my side. I know you not. Ye that walk in iniquity. What a, what a word. Matthew 7, 21 to 23. No one's stewardship can be any more profitable than that individual is spiritual. No one's stewardship can be any more profitable than such individual is spiritual. So look at it all around. You find losses, losses, losses when this foundation is out of place. If you would like to give your life to Jesus or you have given your life to Jesus before but something happened and you took it back, can I give you an opportunity to return to Jesus? The truth is that if you are not in Christ, you are in crisis. Why not pray this simple prayer with me? Lord Jesus, thank you for sending me your word. I return to you today. I acknowledge you as my Lord and my Savior. I surrender to you. From today, write my name in the book of life and cleanse my name from the book of death. Give me grace to serve you and to follow you all the days of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen.